In this section, we're going to look at farm level security. In this first video, we're going to look at rights management in SharePoint and Windows. So the point of rights management is to allow users to set up effectively an embargo on information leaking out of a document library that's not yet meant to be disseminated to the wider public. Rights management in Windows is a cooperative system that requires cooperation from client applications. When a user attempts to open a document from a library with rights management on it, it's up to the client application as to how well it honors rights management. But with Office 2013 as the client, or with Adobe Acrobat for PDFs, etc., whatever settings the owner puts on the library will apply to what's downloaded by the user. And that can prevent the user from printing, copying, or forwarding unauthorized documents to unauthorized people. So it starts in Active Directory. There is Active Directory rights management services and a dependency upon Active Directory Federation services. So we have both of these installed in our AD. And beyond that, there's not a great deal of extra configuration required to make this play with SharePoint. So now let's head over to our SharePoint servers. And here's Central Admin. To enable IRM, we go to Security, Configure Information Rights Management, then we have some options. I can either use the default one specified in AD, well, we've only got one, or I could key in the URL, preferably HTTPS. Uh, incidentally, as happens to be rms.contoso.local, I could go with this. So this is just a name that's been created to point at our domain controller where I have all this installed. So we say OK, and that's now applied. If you get an error when you do that, one of the first things to look at, if it's saying something like the rights management client DLL, msipc.dll is present but can't be configured. That could mean many things. The things to check on your domain controller, just going back here, if you go to the INET pub folder that contains our RMS application, under there we have the certification folder and server certification.asmx. It may well be you need to grant permissions here. Now we don't, we don't have that problem. But if you do get that problem, you could add, for instance, the machine account of your SharePoint servers or the application accounts running central admin, so SP Farm and the web applications that are going to use this to here. And you would grant it read and execute. Now, it's not a problem we're facing. The other common reason for that problem, it's uh, not one of the best documented error messages for SharePoint. If you do get that problem, then you could consider visiting the URL in your browser. And if you have a problem with a security certificate, you could consider adding this to a suitable store. Once again, that's not a problem we've got. So I'm going to bail here. We don't need to do that. So we now have IRM switched on in SharePoint. Our next step would be to enable this for a particular library. So let's head over to the intranet. And now let's select a library such as Documents. And let's configure IRM. So a setting that's now available to us that previously wouldn't have shown up here is the information rights management link. And we have an option to restrict permissions or not. So to this library, let's have the Contoso IRM policy with some friendly text to tell our users what they should be up to. If I show options we can now configure how IRM will be applied and so here we can say do not allow users to upload documents that don't support IRM so imagine a user has got a document a text file maybe with sensitive information like the uh, end of financial year figures now if they're not yet made public it's probably not a good idea to upload them to a document library without IRM 
But if they've uploaded it to this library as a text file, well, text files don't support IRM anyway. So what I could say is don't allow them to upload anything that doesn't have IRM support. What I could do is put an embargo on this library and say, well, let's stop having IRM as a requirement after Monday the 20th or something like that. I can also prevent documents from being opened in the browser. So that's new in SharePoint 2013. Office web apps can now open protected documents, whereas previously they couldn't. We can also be specific about what users are allowed to do. Can they print stuff? Can they run a screen reader to read out documents? So that's key for accessibility, but it opens up one avenue to leak information out of the company. Do we allow them to annotate documents and to write on a copy of it? And do we require them effectively to download the document again after this many days? So they're allowed by default, if I enable this, 90 days. We can also force them to recertify themselves by keying in their credentials again every n days, so 30 here. Now in 2010, if you download a document from a library like this, then the file is encrypted and effectively only you can then have these permissions to view, etc. that document. In 2013, we can say, well, if I'm downloading a local copy of this, I can actually share it freely amongst a target group. So we could do it per group as well if we want to. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to go back into IRM settings for a moment on this library and make sure that we've unchecked prevent opening of documents in the document library. So I don't have Office installed on the server, which is a great idea. Don't put Office on the server. So we're just going to demo it here, going back to a document library, clicking on our document and now Office Web Apps opens this up and you can see our IRM policy is being applied. OK, so let's go back to the document library and just switch off information rights management for the library. And one more time, we'll open that document. And the status bar has gone away. So we now have the ability to print and share again. In this video, we saw how to configure SharePoint to use IRM, information rights management, and how to use that within document libraries. Here ends the video.